You're going to learn all about the nail gun in this video. I've got some great footage here from my good buddy Nacho who attended the event at Visceral Games as well. His channel is linked in the description. If you like live commentaries, then this guy is your man. Two videos a day, one hardline, one Battlefield 4. He's got you good and covered. So go subscribe now. But back to the nail gun. This is probably the item I looked forward to most when I heard about this new DLC. And this one included the Tommy gun, so it took something really special to capture my attention. First up, this thing is a battle pickup. <laughs> if you can really call it that. The, the phrase doesn't, all, doesn't seem to fit the weapon all that well, but we'll just go with it. Maybe we'll call it just a, a pickup weapon instead. So you can only pick this thing up from locations on the four maps and each of them can be found in like an area that looks like it's being built in. So like on the map backwards there's one behind a workshop shed on a bench and on Black Friday which is the mall map there's one on a pile of 2 by 4s just in the middle of the map. And if my memory serves me right there are two per map I think but, but don't quote me on it I think that's right. But when you do first get your hands on this thing it's immediately obvious how you're supposed to use it which is up close and personal. The bullets, no, the nails that it fires, devastate up close and then they fade pretty fast the further away your target is going to get. And you'd probably expect that because with the nail gun even being included, it is a gimmick weapon. Nothing more or nothing less than something to pick up, kill a few dudes with and then drop it on the floor whilst you're running away laughing that you managed to kill people with a nail gun. There are no iron sights, Again, not surprising, it is a nail gun, but the lack of them can make it really difficult to aim, or at least tricky in certain situations, as you have no frame of reference at all as to where the bullets are coming from, from what we can only describe as the barrel of the nail gun. It would come out of the middle, but because there's no sights on it, it makes it <laughs> very difficult to kind of know where the nails are coming from. You will get a feel for it eventually, but it will take some time. Because it does so little damage though, it means that you'll go through nails <laughs> rather than bullets like nobody's business. Up close I found it took maybe two or three nails to kill somebody and with that of course dropping lower if you hit your target in the head so you can get like, I think it's a two shot kill minimum if you land two headshots or something like that. But anything outside 20 meters or so, this thing was, well, highly ineffective to say the least. But then again as you'd expect, it's hardly supposed to be used any further than a few inches from a piece of wall. And don't even bother trying to take people out that aren't right in front of you because mixing that low damage with the horribly inaccurate aiming system, you'll just end up looking silly and, and no one, no one likes looking silly. So, in summary, the nail gun is really fun to use, but only really up close and that's kind of what I expected. Try and play in areas that lend themselves to other close quarters combat but make sure your aim is on point and you'll be okay. Otherwise, you'd probably just be better off dropping the thing on the ground and using something much more suited to killing people. I had some cool moments with the time during the playtest, and I'm sure I'll have plenty more as well, providing any server owners actually take the risk of running these DLC maps on PC. With player population as low as it is right now, the game is barely scraping 5,000 players a night. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried for the game on PC. I don't think it's going to get cancelled by any means. EA are fully committed to this. But I am a little bit worried about the player base. Especially as more DLC comes out, it's just going to split more and more. And on that point actually, please today leave some comments below about how you think Visceral could help increase player numbers for Hardline. And not just on PC, for consoles as well. Any ideas are welcome. I'll pass them on to the Visceral developers for you. If you want your voice heard, leave a comment today. I will pass pretty much any suggestions that you have onto the developers. They're looking to try and boost numbers on PC, so let's give them some ideas. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to check out my other video today. It's linked on the screen right now and down in the description for mobile viewers. And while you're down there, hit up my G2A store at g2a.com slash r slash westy and check out some of their great deals this week. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like and a comment. It is always appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Get, 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 get